Welcome to this Windows and computer channel and a lot of people have been asking me to uh, is there a way that I can or do I have a way that I could measure the speed up of the red pulling fix in Windows 10 May 2019 update um, and you don't have to be there to actually have it if you're on the October 2018 update there were a series of cumulative updates that fix or change the uh, the fix of the uh, Spectre and Meldon flaw. So just to, once again, say what Red Pauline is for people that don't know, it's a fix for or a mitigation for Spectre and Meldon, two flaws in the CPU that actually can compromise the security of your PC. There are several ways of fixing it. One of them, well, it's not a fix because you can't fix it, but it's a mitigation. That means it lowers the risk of uh, having problems. So one of them is through the browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, uh, Firefox, Opera, all have mitigation in place for the Spectre and Meltdown. So that makes it already harder. But there was a firmware or a microcode update that was sent to some of you that actually um, you know, created a, a mitigation, but it slowed down PCs a lot. So in the red pulling fix, which is the Google fix, it actually slows down the PC a lot less. So if you have the October 2018 update, you might have already that fix, which means your PC might seem faster after a cumulative update that was issued about um, two months ago. Now, in the May 2019 update, Red Pauline Fix is enabled, and it means it should be faster. So, a lot of you have been asking me, do you have any, um, you know, numbers that you could see? Well, one number that I do see, because I have one software that is Wirecast that I use for live streaming, and it has, of course, a, um, it tells you the CPU load when you are actually streaming. And for those that wonder, I upgraded, of course, to the May 2019 update. One of the first things that I did was, of course, look at the CPU load. Before the red pulling fix, the CPU load was often in the 70 to 80% mark in my uh, streaming. It really, really took a lot of my processing power. Since I moved to Windows 10 May 2019 update, now that is down to around 50 to 60 percent so it gives you an idea that it does speed up your pc my pc works less on wirecast i do think it has a lot to do with the red pulling fix that actually uh, mitigates specter and meltdown in a better way a more efficient way so yes there is a uh, a difference in speed also some of you have noticed a difference in speed because some of you have sent me uh, private messages or messages or emails telling me you know what the uh, fix since the uh, new I'm, I'm on the May 2019 update I do see my PC is faster for a lot of tasks that I ask from it so it actually does work and it seems to be much better than what we had before with the microcode that would really slow down your PC a lot so there is an improvement, and I do see the improvement here on my PC also. Like I said, the visual improvement I have is mostly on Wirecast, but the overall performance of my PC seems to be a little faster, a little better with uh, the uh, May 2019 update than probably mostly do, because performance-wise, Windows 10 on the May 2019 update should pretty much perform the same as the October or the April 2018 update. There's nothing that should make it, um, you know, kind of heavier. There's nothing that should also make it faster by itself, um, except the red pulling fix that should change the performance of your PC and make it faster. So that's my personal observations, of course, but it also is confirmed by quite a few of you that told me, well, you know what, I feel my PC is faster uh, with the uh, May 2019 update than it was before. If you enjoy my piece, my, my PC, if you enjoy my PC, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.